previously on Travel Beans. We got settled into our new home on wheels and headed to the popular coastal city of Santa Barbara. After a day of beautiful beaches, buildings, and tasty tacos, we continued our journey north. Honestly, like driving around here. Oh look, we're in a national forest. <laughs> um, yeah, driving around here, I feel like a kid. Like I feel like I'm properly exploring again. Like I felt it in other places, like Philippines, you can really get off the beaten path and stuff, but I don't know. Like I think because it's such a big place and there's so much space that doesn't have any people around, it, it really does feel like a bit of a playground. What is this place? <laughs> Just look at it, this isn't real. But this here is Old Creek Tavern, which used to be, <laughs> my conveniently placed sign, <laughs> an old stagecoach route. So I'm not armed with the information, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it up with an educated guess, and then you guys can complain how wrong it is. So, <laughs> basically, this is an old stage house route, so people used to come through and they would stop, much like, I kind of feel like in England with like pubs, country pubs, how people would travel, weary travellers had somewhere to sleep, to eat, I kind of guess it's like that. Yeah, that's what I would guess as well. Yeah, when I think of a tavern, that's kind of what I think. And how nice is the woodland smell out here? Yeah, you guys can't <laughs> smell this, but... Scratch and sniff! Oh. <laughs> so fresh it's got like, like that burny smell it does Ooh. yeah like burning wood but inside is what i'm excited about because they have a variety of chilies i believe and Ooh. i would never get myself a chili back in england because it's something you would make at home yeah not restaurant food but it's the winter we're here in america let's do as the americans do and eat chili <laughs> can you even see like the chimney here like the chimney is like this old-fashioned wooden <laughs> chimney somewhere like maybe like a fairy tale character would live inside there some disgusting gingerbread woman bitch <laughs> that wants to take me and my sister and do horrible things oh my goodness <laughs> and it smells like cinnamon. <laughs> <laughs> See, the gingerbread woman, what's she gonna do to us? <laughs> so this is their famous stage house chili and you can get it in a bowl or a cup. I went for the cup, two reasons, one, cheaper. The other one, if you saw the last video, I ate a lot of tacos <laughs> and that actually wasn't that long ago in real life, so I, I just can't really eat much more. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> in England, like, we feel like this is a food that you would just make at home and, like, I can't speak for everyone, of course, but I would never go and order chilli outside in England. Judging by this, would, wouldn't do it again. <laughs> I mean, it's really nice. It's just like eating chili in England. through this national forest to realize maybe this is a really good place for us to sleep. It beats a Walmart any day. Um, yeah, so as we were driving around the reservoir, we noticed a lot of birds. And as you know, Alex gets quite excited about birds. All right. <laughs> um, so yeah, we decided why not like pull into one of the campsites and see what the cost was, expecting it to be hundreds, 25 of your finest dollars, please. That's all this costs us. These wetlands, that, as we're driving along, I know wetlands are like a thriving hotspot for bird life. It's everywhere. <laughs> but specifically, I'm really interested in the birds of prey. I love a bird of prey. Yeah. And I heard that they... Oh, <laughs> what are you? Oh, I'm a fucking crow. 
get out of here. <laughs> there are like hundreds of campsites here and not, I think we've seen like a handful of people. There's like at least say 500 spots for camping and there's probably about 15 to 20 people here. So we get to have this whole spot to ourselves. This seems like a really nice place to watch sunset. We want to wake up for sunrise to try and get a glimpse of whatever birds are waking up. I know, I understand this is not a bird channel. You don't want to see about birds, <laughs> but you want to see me happy, don't you? And if you don't, you I sick, do. sadistic bastard, get off my channel. <laughs> I just want to give a shout out to my lovely travel companion, not Emma, <laughs> it's the Skyroam. I have been testing this device in a number of different countries in different continents. I have been testing this specifically over this whole America trip and it hasn't let me down. For $100 for the month, we get unlimited Wi-Fi, which has been an absolute godsend, especially as it works in so many different countries. So when you arrive at the airport, it basically is working, which has just saved us a fortune. And also just for things like right now, like I'm looking what there is to do nearby. And we just found like 15 minutes away, there's a Danish town. It's from when the immigrants went there and like the Danes wanted to create their own like Danish field town. So after watching the sunset and probably a little bird spotting. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> we'll head over to Solvang. I think it's Solvang. Yeah. It sounds like it's going to be tacky, but Santa Barbara wasn't tacky. That's true. And I thought it probably would be as well. Yeah. So if you're on your travels and you want a Wi-Fi device mm. or you don't want to faff around with things like SIM cards, then check out the description below because there'll be a little, just a little discount for you. That's where we are. We're in Christmas Town. Look at that little bookstore. It's so cute. I'm loving the Christmas lights. Oh, this is just lovely. I wasn't ready to feel festive just no, yet. No, but it is the 2nd of December. Don't timestamp this video. I'm sorry. <laughs> they all know. in Danish town and probably very much like Denmark it's raining. <laughs> we needed to escape and find somewhere to go and get a nice little beverage. Warning. And we found this little Danish pub. We walk in. Luckily they're playing Danish American football. <laughs> but Sausage Boy has got himself some sausages. I have three delicious looking sausages that are supposed to be very Danish in the sausage front. I've said it many times before, Americans don't understand how to make my sausages, so it's really nice to come to Denmark and try a nice sausage. I might as well also, while I'm offending Americans with their sausages, I also might as well make a joke about, oh, it's nice to find a nice beer. <laughs> they have kindly accompanied my sausages with two different types of mustard, and apparently this is cheese fondue. <laughs> Honestly, guys, the smells are yeah. yeah. legit. Yeah. 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 Dip mustard. People seem to love me doing man jobs, uh, <laughs> such as emptying the waste tanks of our last RV. So I thought, why not show you me doing another man job of making, turning the seats into a bed. Um, <laughs> actually, it is kind of, 
not I wouldn't say man job but more of like a strong person job which I am not because this table is really heavy which whereas I'm very strong <laughs> so that's like child's play for me right so I'm pretty sure it it's just the table turns into the bed so I'm guessing it slats in this is so heavy I don't want to trap my fingers nice and then I think you basically just use these slats to kind of make up the rest of it so just add these in and trap yourself <laughs> in the middle okay oh oh that's pretty comfy I'm quite excited about that that's going to be so much more comfy than the other one to sleep on I mean, the other one was cool, don't get me wrong. It's like you pushed a button and it went down. But this is like actual padded, paddedness. And then to get the bedding, it's all stored up here. So you just undo these. Ta-da! Pillows. Nice. Blanket. We do have sleeping bags as well. Provided by Travellers Autobahn. Yeah. <laughs> yes. But they might be in the seat, so I'll have to uh, undo all of this. <laughs> it is now way past our bedtime because it's dark. And when we've been doing this camping trip... <laughs> Basically, we've been waking up really early and going to bed really early. And it's been so nice, naturally, just getting tired. Mm. And we've got nothing else to do once it gets dark. Usually, I hate that. I hate waking up early. And I don't usually go to bed early. So that's probably why I hate waking up early. But actually, this has been quite refreshing and I'm enjoying it. Really excited to push on and get closer to San Francisco. But for now, if you enjoyed the video, smash the like button! <laughs> that's right, I'm bringing that back. <laughs> along with every other YouTuber <laughs> out there. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification bell because we like it. Yeah, we're just used to saying it. <laughs> and then leave us a comment. What weird-ass town have you been to that's from another country playing weird sports? and <laughs> <laughs> Pretending to be another country. <laughs> and also for any other bird lovers out there, where's good for seeing birds? And if there's no bird lovers out there, like, why do I keep mentioning them? <laughs> <laughs> Finally, a big fat thank you to Travellers Autobahn, who have been awesome in supplying us with this wonderful camper van. Go send them some love. Tell them the beans sent you. Follow them on Instagram. Follow them on Twitter. We'll put everything down below. Thank you very much, guys. We wouldn't be able to be making this content in California if it wasn't for them. So please show them all of the love, <laughs> the necessary love. <laughs> Finally, nothing else to say. But <laughs> <laughs> thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. And beans out! <laughs> next time on Travel Beans. So we've got McChicken Biscuit, Chicken McGriddle. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I mean, yeah. It's... <sighs> What is, is it, it a pancake? I don't know. Oh, it's it... squidgy like a pancake. <laughs>